Las Vegas has an ever-changing landscape of food, entertainment, and activities that open every single month. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the top five newest things that you should do next time you come to Las Vegas. What's up guys, it's your boy George. If you go to mind before we get started, give this video a like. It takes you like two seconds and it helps out tremendously with the algorithm. Without further ado, let's jump right into it right here at the Arte Museum. This place is a little tricky to find. It's located on the second level connected to the crystal shop. As you can see behind me, you have the Cosmopolitan and the Aria is right this way. So check this out. This place opened in November and it's a brand new place. Super cool experience, immersive, sound, visuals, all that stuff. Let's go check it out. So some of the rooms here actually play with your senses. You can have your obviously your eyesight, your hearing, and your smells, which I'm pretty excited. Not a whole lot of places can offer that, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, I'm joined by one of my best buddies right here. I got Matt Chen. You've seen him in other videos. This is the first room. This is called Waterfall, and it's super cool. It's like a mirror room. There's like mirrors kind of like on the floor. It gives you a really cool infinity type of look. All right, let's keep it going. That room is actually a lot bigger than I thought yeah. it was gonna be. Even the little walkways here, this, is a, this reminds me of like the Incredibles. This one is called Flowers. The Joy of Life by the Infinite Symphony of Petals. Very artistic and uh, pretty cool. I can already hear the birds chirping. Let's check it out. I don't know how to play. I feel like you know how to play. Let's go, I knew it. <laughs> so they told us to check out the piano room. I thought it would play itself. If Matt Chen wasn't here, I would not be able to enjoy the beautiful sounds. And this is called a wave. Oh my God. It's wild. It's a bit claustrophobic, but I like it, I dig it. But it feels like all that pressure of the water is gonna break through. Yeah, and it's all graphic art, it's all motion art, it's not like this is real. Some artist actually created this in Blender or something, this is wild. This is dope. Not only that, but you get the waterfall guy. Look at that. Okay. This is one of the most unique things I've seen. This is a live sketchbook area in which you pick one of the animals here, you color it, and you watch it come to life right in front of your eyes. It's part of the display for the whole day. Very unique, I have never done this before. Oh, that's not bad. Look, there's like a little moon that follows it. Oh. What? <laughs> the beginning of F1. That's why they're doing this. Everything was awesome. Yeah, what amazing. did you like the most about it? I love the draw room. That was so cool to draw something and then they put it up on the screen for the next 24 hours. It makes you part of the immersive experience. So that was so cool. Yeah, definitely unique. And with that, I'll leave you guys a review here of the Arte Museum. And uh, yeah, let's go see what else is next. Yeah. situated here at the sundry located at the uncommons which is in the southwest of las vegas this is a food hall that opened about five months ago this food hall has 14 concepts here you have things from mexican food sushi an oyster bar italian food they even have a bar here and honestly it's one of the nicest ones the way it works here is that you scan a QR code and you order straight from your phone and they bring the food right to you. Nowadays, I feel like there's a lot of food courts that they just labeled as a food hall, but this is legit. This is one of the nicest ones that I've seen in Las Vegas. And it's cool that it's like filled by locals here. So you're gonna get the prices aren't gonna be as expensive as the ones on the strip. Check out my view. This place is beautiful. I went ahead and ordered quite a bit of food so I can show you guys different things and also some drinks from the bar. Now margarita. Mama's Michelada. All right, so get the drinks ready, and here we have a house margarita. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very strong, but also very sweet and a good lime flavor. You can tell you they use good ingredients here. You know what? I've been drinking all day, so why not continue to 
get messed up here. All right, and this is the michelada right here. As you can see, it's garnished with like a million different things. It's a lot of garnishes for a michelada, but dude, I'm here for it. Very unique flavor. It kind of tastes like a Bloody Mary, so I like it when they use like Bloody Mary ingredients to make micheladas because they're very similar, but um, I actually really, really enjoy this. All right, so I got the food and I got a ton of plates here. This is gonna be way too much food for me, but I still wanted to order a bit of everything so I can show you guys what this is all about. Uh, first up, we got this speed racer. This is gonna be three hand rolls here, one tuna, one salmon, and I believe the other one was uh, yellowtail. But check this out, beautiful presentation right here, nice and chunky. And we're gonna go ahead and try the salmon one. Mm. Oh yeah, I haven't had sushi in so long. It, ha it has like these little like fish egg, kind of like boba, a couple bites here and there, three bites. At first it looked like it was gonna be too much rice, but I think it was just enough. So this is an unusual pick for me and it's gonna be the mushroom tacos. We have a, uh, looks like a handmade tortilla here with blue corn. We need some salsa though. Check it. For being a vegan taco, these are pretty good. I just want some salsa here, like some green salsa. All right, moving on to the next items. I already started eating it, and this is the peanut butter slider from Easy Slider. Right here, it comes with some sweet potatoes on the side. This has onions, it has pickles, and it has a peanut butter sauce and some chips on top. They're like little Hawaiian buns here, so, you know, they're, they're kind of sweet. We got a little bit more classic, and these are like cheese sliders. Here we go. These also have onion and pickles right at the bottom, but check this out. Oh yeah, I think this one's better than uh, the peanut butter one. The cheese, you know? Oh yes sir. It kind of tastes like White Castle cheeseburgers, but better. Fries are decent, could be better, but they're decent. All right, now we're taking a trip to Asia because we're going with a chicken tikka masala. Of course, it's like the traditional American Indian food. The spices of Indian food are unmatched. It looks more like pita bread. Let's go. This is really good. I wish it's nice and creamy. It has a good flavor. I wish it was a bit spicier, but this is absolutely delicious. Moving on to the last item, we have the vodka shell pasta here. Very, very beautiful presentation. Nice, thick, creamy pasta. Let's go. I'm not a pasta connoisseur by any means, but this is some damn good pasta. This is pretty good. I was honestly not expecting this to be this good. This might be my favorite item today. All right, so if I had to rank my plates, I would go with the pasta first, maybe the chicken tikka masala second, and then the traditional sliders uh, on third place. There's something for everyone here. There's over 100 items that you can pick from from all the 14 different places here. And they're also adding Soul Belly very soon, which is uh, barbecue. One of my favorite barbecues in Vegas. So I'll wrap them here at the Sundry located at the Uncomments. There are a ton of restaurants and shops here that we should probably highlight in a separate video, but for now, let's see what else is next. All right, guys, now we're here at the Planet Hollywood to check out the newest Mexican restaurant that just opened, and that is Rosa Mexicano. This place is a modern Mexican cuisine restaurant that is pretty popular. They have a bunch of locations in New York, Massachusetts, and all that stuff, but this is the first one here in Nevada, so let's go check it out. All right, today I'm joined by my beautiful mother. Hi. This place is stunning. It's beautiful, lively, colorful, and the people here are really nice. Now this location is a bit unique because although it is still an upscale Mexican restaurant like the other locations in the, in the United States, this one is more of a steakhouse-y. So they are open on the weekends for brunch, lunch, and dinner, and on Monday through Thursday for lunch and dinner. Now just like any other good Mexican restaurant, they do have table side guac, and they also have table side margarita, which I've never heard of this before. I'm pretty excited, so let's order both of them. top of the frozen margarita, we also got two separate cocktails. We got a very on brand. We got a pomegranate margarita right here with some salt on the side. Oh man, this is so good. And we also got this, it comes with a little presentation. Although just the top portion is the drink. This is a, basically like a mezcalita. You can tell they use agave as a sweetener because it's not overly sweet, yet it tastes very, very fresh and natural. All right, and now it's time to try this frozen margarita here. God. Oh my God, so delicious. Oh, this tastes like summer. 
I don't even taste the pomegranate. I think it's just like for the color. I don't know. Could be the best frozen margarita I've ever had. See what Mama must try first. Good. What's the gusto más? Esta o esta? That one, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. As if it wasn't enough, the chips here are pink. They definitely fit the theme here. And I looked at them and I was like, you know what? They're probably not gonna be as good, but it's also phenomenal. And these chips are good. All right, so we're starting off with the food and here we have the lobster taquitos. So let's go. Very fresh, it has a little bit of a pineapple or mango on top. Nice creamy sauce would be amazing with these. Very good way to start the day. Now, let's try some of these ceviche. It's nice and wet. Look at that, a beautiful presentation. Very good taste, very easy, very easy bite. All right, so here we have our entrees. We got the Mar y Tierra enchiladas right here. Very beautiful presentation. So as you can see here, one of these, the one on the right side is gonna be shrimp, and the one on the left side, my left, is gonna be steak. Got some very traditional things that everyone would know, and this is the birria tacos. So we get three tacos right here lined up, and with the little plate right here for consomme. Get this bad boy up, look at that cheese pool. So I misspoke. This is actually shrimp, crab, and lobster. So this whole enchilada contains all those three, and it's freaking amazing. It's the sauce itself is super creamy. The taste is there, and it's also it has maybe like other veggies inside. So it does have spinach inside as well. That's what we were getting with the other veggies. This is so good, man. It's like a 10 out of 10. Now let's give these birria tacos a go. So we're gonna get the consomme. We're gonna get this bad boy in there. Let's go. Here we go. Nice and moisturized. Yes, sir. So this birria has a, a sweet profile with a, a slight spiciness to it, which is good. It doesn't taste as traditional as I'm personally used to eating it, but it's still very good quality. Honestly, long story short here is that it's an upscale Mexican restaurant with good food, but I think the drinks here are even better. I would not be surprised if every single drink in this menu is absolutely amazing. Hey, where should we go drink in Vegas? definitely come here and obviously the food is gonna be great as well. Liquid nitrogen tastes so good. All right guys, now we're here at the newest speakeasy in town that is 745. It's located in the Arts District and it has a really cool theme that I wanna show you guys. What makes this place cool is that it's an actual speakeasy. It's hidden here in the Arts District. You would never know it's here, but you can actually see the sign here. Definitely make your reservations here and you can find the password online, but let's head inside right now. So here's the bell that you have to ring. And once you ring, you speak to someone inside and you give them the password. Yeah, I do. Let's go. Yes. All right, guys. So this is an R&B bar, and they're obviously playing like all different R&B types of music. Uh, this is a black owned business, so you know, super cool supporting minorities. And I'm here with these degenerates. I got Yoko, you've seen them in previous videos. I got Jose as well. Yeah. And I got my girlfriend right here. I got my boyfriend right here. <laughs> All right, sorry, obviously can't talk a whole lot because there's music here and I'm gonna be copywritten. They have a really cool art display here or like a wall with like different uh, records. Super dope. The bar is super nice. Looks like a really nice, elegant, clean place. They also have a back area here, like a, a patio, but it's a little too cold right now to go outside. All right, so we got a variety of liqueurs here. Mine has tequila and mezcal. This one right here has gin. It's basically like a cucumber lime. Right down here, we got like a whiskey sour. And right down here, what do we have? Love and happiness was rum. All right, so we got rum, tequila, whiskey, and gin. Guys, so we went ahead and got some bites here. We got the house made hummus with some cucumbers here. We got some spiced pickled olives. And right over here, we have Mama D's salmon spread with some of that pita bread. The drinks are excellent. The company is nice, young, Always the beautiful. Best. Absolutely, let's get it going. Just so you guys know, there's a two drink minimum every time you come here, but the music is always amazing. Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll never but, but, down. But, but. 
don't forget to get Mama D's salmon. Is it salmon spread? Salmon spread. Let's Look, go. We, we cleaned it. That's oh, I kinda, fire. I kind of want to. I think there's more left. Fire. I think there's more left. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. You love this song? Bro, or this song is good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy says that with every song, dude. You said eight songs in a row. In a row. <laughs> but the vibes are always immaculate. The music's always amazing. Let's go, Mama D. Yeah. yeah. All right, got the Spanish joint. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the receipt is given to you with an album. Let's go. All right, guys, this next one basically needs no introduction, but it is literally the biggest, newest thing here in Las Vegas and also the one that has the most hype. Check this out. So we are at the MSG Sphere. We are doing the postcards from Earth show. This is my first time here at the Sphere and I'm pretty excited, let's head inside. So to get here to the Sphere, you pretty much have two options. You can do ride share and get dropped off here, but I'm assuming it might get a little hectic or you can get to the Venetian Palazzo and walk across the bridge here. It's gonna probably gonna be the easiest option. That's what I did. So when you come to the Sphere, the whole experience basically takes two hours. The first 50 minutes are gonna be you hanging out here in the lobby, getting some drinks, using the restroom, but also more, and most importantly, talking to the robots here. They use AI technology in which they, that they could recognize people in front of them, ask them like contextual questions about what they're wearing, about like current events, the temperature, all this stuff. It's basically like talking to like a supercharged like chat GPT or Siri. Super dope, they have different stations. You also have other stations that you can do like a whole like scan of yourself and they'll send it to you through email. Very, very cool right here. And also just the lobby itself is beautiful. I think I'm gonna go get myself a drink because once the show starts, apparently you can't come in late and they don't really allow for people to get up and go to the restroom and stuff like that. So let's go get ourselves a drink before the show gets started. So this is where we're Arabic. Now we're moving to English. Beer. Okay, that's crazy. We took two steps and now we're able to hear something in English versus the Arabic one. There we go. A couple of steps and now we're hearing Mandarin. Are you not cold in those shorts? My robot coordinator friend has alerted me that the temperature is quite chilly outside of Sphere. So if you're planning to come to the Sphere, definitely book ahead because I've seen cheaper tickets like at $99 but I paid $169 for my ticket before taxes. So keep that in mind. Also, food and beverage here is not cheap. I paid $20 for this cocktail. Granted, it's freaking it's freaking amazing. I got a margarita. All right, so now I'm standing in line to do one of these scans and I will show you once they email it to me. guys so unfortunately some lady spilled my cocktail uh so sad but they just asked me what drink i was drinking and uh I'm, they might be getting me a new one thank you so much no no it's fine thank you yo this is so dope i love this having a good time already let's go so they only are sitting in the middle sections this place seats like 17,000 people. All right, all wrapped up here at the Sphere and back at the Venetian. And let me tell you, that show is stunning. The venue itself is beautiful. The sound, 
Uh, everything that is well thought out, except for a couple of things. Number one, the show is quite expensive. I paid $170 for that, and I think it's a little bit too much. That's basically two shows somewhere else. But it's really, really beautiful, and I actually do recommend it. Now, a couple of critiques. The food and the drinks are quite expensive, a little bit overpriced, but hey, that's Vegas. Number two is that the actual theme and the actual plot of the whole show is a bit corny in my opinion. It's, uh, you know, how humans are destroying the earth and all that stuff. But if you can get over that the cinematography and the actual images and everything that you see, it's absolutely stunning. And number three is how crammed it is in there. You are kind of shoulder to shoulder with people. You're kind of touching like knees and shoulders. It's, it's a bit uncomfortable, a bit tight, but I definitely want to come back for a concert. That thing is going to be dope. And I heard that the UFC is actually going to have an event there next year. All right, my friends made it to the end of the video. There you have it. Five new things that open here in Las Vegas that you should check out when you visit. If you like this video or found it helpful whatsoever, please remember to give this video a like consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and also comment down below if you have any questions comments or concerns because it all helps the algorithm thank you guys so much and i'll see you on the next time peace out